Hi, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. What I'd like to do is take you through an example of how to stop Moodle overlapping long page names. And to explain what that means, you can see here how at the bottom of Moodle, and we're looking at the Moodle default theme here called Boost, you see test page number one is a fairly short name. Then we have a jump to and a drop down arrow which allows us to jump to different pages. Then we have a very long page name. This is page three with a very long page name which can happen. You can see how this page name is overlapping. What we need to do is apply some CSS uh, to this page name and force it to not overlap with the drop down list. So how do we do that? It's quite simple, some very basic CSS is used. And the area that we're looking to add this CSS, you can see here, is the uh, pre-activity link and the next previous activity link and the next activity link. Both of those are used to display this previous and next link at the bottom of each page. Now this can change depending on which theme you're using. So you may need to look into the code and have a look see what IDs are being used for the previous and next. Let's have a look at Moodle and see if we can see exactly the same thing. If we go into Moodle and into our demo course, you can see we have our demo course here and we have an announcement. There's our jump to, but we don't have any other page listed here. So let's have a little bit of a look at the course in a bit more detail. Let's create a new page with an extremely long name and we'll create that under topic one. So we'll just go down to page, add page. So we need to create one for the left and one for the right and a centre page that we can compare. So this is page one with a very long page name. And just put something in the page so it will let us save it. Save and return to course. We'll add another page and we'll just call this page two with a very long name and put something in it and save. So you can see already how that's overlapping. Let's go back and create a page three. Add a page and we'll call this this is page three with a very long page name. We we'll just put a dot in there so we can save it, return to course. And there we have our three pages. If we choose the middle page, that will show the overlapping before and after. So this is what we're going to fix. If we right click and inspect, we can see here that we have an ahref or a tag with an ID of previous activity link, right click on this one and inspect, you can see we have an ID of next activity link. And this is used in every page in the boost theme. So again, remember this depends on the theme that you're using. What we need to do is apply some CSS. Let's go back and look at our CSS that we're going to use. So we're going to add this CSS here, which picks out the ID previous activity link, makes the font small, white space pre-wrap text align left and next activity link small again so we're dropping the font size down you're making sure that it wraps because that's one reason why it isn't working because it's it's not wrapping because it's one big long line of text uh, in a href and we want it to wrap around properly so we're going to grab this css just here and copy that now, we are assuming here that you are an administrator. So you need to go into Site Administration, into Appearance, and select your theme, and find the area that lets you put in your own CSS. So we're going to go to our theme right now and have a look at how we do that. To Appearance, and down to the Boost theme, which is the theme I'm using for this course at the moment. You can see here there's only a few settings. I'll go to advanced settings and you can see here we have raw initial 
SCSS and raw SCSS. Now I do have some information already in here. I'm just going to move that out the way for now so you don't have to worry about that. And we'll put our CSS code in there that we've got. So previous activity link, font small, white space, and save changes. Let's go back to our course. And we're using the boost theme. And you can see that we have this is page one, this is page two, this is page three. If we go to this is page two with very long page names or reasonably long page names, you can see how now the text is, is smaller with this is page one with a very long page name dot 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 and see how now it drops down to the left. This one drops down to the right. So we forced it to drop into its container and stay in there and not stretch across which means it doesn't overlap with the jump to drop down list which was exactly what we're looking for. And if you look over on the right here where we've gone right click inspect you can see that the CSS that we applied font size small white space prewrap and text align left is uh, now working correctly. So if we take that out the white space you'll see how it jumps across again. If we have a look at or inspect the right hand next activity link take the white space out you'll see how it drops across so white space pre-wrap and that's how we force the text to stop overlapping even with long page names my name is chris richter from moodle at ricochet hopefully this has been helpful to you please feel free to leave some comments or catch up if there's any other issues or ideas or things that you need help with talk soon